Hi, this is Tidhar. Uh, just uh, continuing the string handling in Advanced Unix. The next uh, part is how will you calculate the length of the given variable? If you want to find the length of the variable, you can easily find it out using the dollar and within curly brace use ash followed by the variable name. If you give dollar within curly brace ash the variable name, it will calculate the length of the variable. var equals unix linux and if you want to calculate the length echo dollar within curly brace give the variable name. It will display only the variable name and if you want to find the length of the variable then put hash. You can find the length of the variable. Length of the variable is 9. The next one is the find and replace. Normally you will search for the pattern if the, if the pattern is found then you will replace using the set command. Normally you will, you will use it like that but here also in advanced unix uh, string handling also you can find and replace replace the string using this dollar within curly brace this is the variable you are using and in this variable you are searching for the pattern unix if unix is found in this variable or string if unix is found if the pattern is found then replace it as linux here i am using x as the variable in this x variable i am substituted the word use unix or windows unix is a secure file system unix is an open source and i want to change it want to change it to change it i am using dollar within curly brace x is a variable x is a variable in this variable i want to search for the pattern unix if the pattern is found then replace it as linux everything you have to include in inside the curly brace this is a given string that is x x is a variable in the given string i'm searching for the pattern unix yes unix is found if the pattern is found then replace it as linux i'm displaying the result use unix instead of unix replace it as linux use linux or windows again this unix is not replaced here this unix is not replaced if you are using this kind of syntax then only the first matching instance will be replaced if you given if your syntax looks like this then the first matching instance will be replaced and the, the second matching and third one will not be replaced if you want to replace it as global then include additional slash here x double slash unix is replaced as linux then all the matching instance will be replaced you can same thing you can do it using set command also the next one is the arrays i'm just uh, initializing an array this is a text if you want to print the first holding holding value of the uh, given array then you can give echo dollar within curly brace array of 0 close the curly brace this this is the value stored in array of 0 in array of 1 this is the value stored in array of 1 like that all the values will be displayed and if you want to find the length of the variable then what it will do you have to precede by ash symbol previously I said ash followed by the variable will display the length of the variable here I am using ash followed by the array of 0 array of 0 means this and I want to display the length of this array of 0 then 4 will be my result got it and also you can find the total number of arguments present in this array array of at the rate at the rate means the total number of arguments will be displayed so I am counting the total number of arguments the total number of arguments is 4 this is 1 2 3 and 4 there are 4 arguments present in this array so ash means it will count and at the rate of uh, array of at the rate of means 
all the array arguments will be substituted here. Let me execute without putting hash. It displays all the result, all the array values. And if you want to find the, till now we have uh, what we did, the substring, uh, we have removed the substring and the remaining part will be displayed. And if I want to extract the substring from this location to this location, from uh, second location to the last location like that, if you want to extract the substring, then what you have to do, you have to use the colon followed by the number. Here, if you are giving the three, three means from the third location, from the third index, n is the zeroth index, zero, one, two, three. So from the third index, how many characters you want to extract? Again, the next colon is the number of characters to be extracted. Five means I want to extract five characters. So one, two, three, four, and five. So craft is my output. This is the substring uh, extraction for the substring extraction you have to give in the given string parameter is the given string and offset is the starting index position and length is how many characters you want to extract parameter is a given string offset is a starting index from which character you want to start you want to extract and length is how many characters you want to extract let me execute it separately Initially is the value of x. Here I want to extract from the third location till fifth five characters. Because double quotes double quotes is not needed. Yes. I display the result craft. The next example I am displaying the phone number, initializing the value of phone number. And I want to extract 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. From 4th to till end. I don't know how many length of the character. So from 4th index to till the end. So for that, how will you do? Substitute the variable phone. And from 4th till end. I don't know this one. So remove this. So it will extract from 4th index to end of the string. That's all about the string handling. We came to an end. Thanks for watching.